we've moved from the two aces being thrown out on the table by the house to now there's a full house. I mean, there's, there's a hand that nobody in the whole casino, nobody at this table that's sitting here can beat that the house has now put down not only aces but has a full house. And let me tell you, there's a couple of other things that make this full house. It's okay to have the great relationship between the husband and the wife, but now what happens with everybody else in the family? And Paul talks about that, that in these next two verses, in verses 20 and 21. And here's what he says. He says, Children, <clears throat> obey your parents in everything, for this pleases the Lord. And then he says, in parents, he says the word father or parents here. He says, do not embitter your family. Do not embitter your kids. Do not embitter your daughter or your son. Because this will discourage them. So the two other things that really make a full house for the, for the house is this. Is that there's obedience and there's encouragement. And so first he addresses the children. And he says, children, obey your parents. Now man, if I had even a penny, if I had a dollar, if I had a $10 bill for every time my parents would say to me as a kid, well, the Bible says to obey your parents. I mean, I'd be a rich man right now. I mean, you know, obey, obey, obey. And so the, 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 the idea is, is that, you know, if it's a five-year-old or a 10-year-old or a 15-year-old, you know, going up to the point of adulthood, if a child is in a household, the key challenge to them is obey. Now, the, the interesting thing is, 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 is what does that mean? Well, I mean, basically, if, if, uh, if mom and dad tell you to do something and you're in the middle of, you know, Facebooking somebody or IMing somebody and they've told you like five or six times you need to do this, you need to do it on the first time, right? So it's helping now to take care of chores around the house. It's, it's helping to take out the trash. It's, it's doing your homework when your parents say to do it. And, and so a lot of times, here's what you'll hear a kid say. They'll say, well, why is this so important that I obey my parents? I mean, why is this here? I understand that it's a command, but what's the why behind the what? And that's an interesting thing because here's what we find when we really ask that question. What's the high why behind the what? Because being in a family now and you think back if you're an adult today, this is the way it was in your family. You were learning to ride a bike with training wheels. And you were in your family, and it's the same thing. I remember the day that I learned to ride a bike. I'd been riding with training wheels, and you know, you, with training wheels, you, you, you wobble to the left, you wobble to the right, and, and sometimes your bike tips over, right? And so with training wheels, you're really having the ability to make errors without it really counting. But then one day, man, I'll never forget, I was at my aunt and uncle's house riding my cousin's bike, and they didn't have training wheels. And I begged my parents, please take the training wheels off, and they never would. And I rode this bike with no training wheels, and it was a little bit wobbly, but I was able to do it. Well, it's the same kind of thing with kids living in a household. Because right now, uh, the authority is the parent. But here's what happens over time. Um, it no longer becomes the parent. I mean, it starts off that way, but then it becomes the teacher. And then after a kid is under the uh, tutelage of the teacher, then they go to, to college and it's a professor or it's a whole institution of a college. Then after that, it's, it's a job. And now it's a boss that's in authority over us. And then after we get a job, what happens then? Some of us become business owners. Some of us become heads of organizations or, or companies or whatever, but we still have the government and we still have boards. And so the reality is, is nobody gets out of authority. And so from the time when a child begins in a household of those little things like chores, those little things like homework, those little things like doing what I'm asking you to do, what's happening is, is we're putting patterns that they will follow for the rest of of their lives, in their hearts, in their minds. That's the why behind the what. Because God is about order and authority and order matters to God. And he says, kids, the biggest thing I could tell you is to obey your parents. It is for your own good because in a few years, 
you won't have your parents. In a few years, you will, the training wheels will come off and you will be out in the world, no parents, and you will be in your own apartment, you will have your own bank account, you will have your own relationships, you will have your own workplace, and you'll have to deal with whatever those relationships bring, be they positive, be they negative. And he says, I want you to learn now. Set the patterns now for what happens then.